Good afternoon, friends. This is a traditional briefing to expose the fakes of the Russian propaganda. We start with a topic that does not give rest to the aggressor, and for the second month it has filled the information space. We are talking about the alleged development by Ukraine of chemical and biological weapons, secret laboratories, experiments on the Slavs, and so on and so forth. I have already said that after this fake has exhausted itself within Russia itself, they are looking for additional legitimization and implementation of this fake through international structures. For example, there were appeals from the State Duma to the UN, some current or former members made these statements. Now the representative of Russia in the UN organizations in Geneva, Gennady Gatilov, is entering the arena. At the same time, he decided to expand the topic of biological laboratories, and now he accuses not only America, but also Germany of the experiments. This is the latest news. Since Germany had not previously appeared in the list of these experiments, in brackets, when this fake topic was promoted in the information space. Therefore, Gatilov at a meeting on March the 31st said that according to him, the documents allegedly confirm the fact that Germany is implementing its own military biological program in Ukraine. Literally, he said this. As part of this work, the Noch German Institute for Tropical Medicine organized cooperation with the Public Health Center of the Ministry of Health of Ukraine, during which the Ukrainian side undertook to supply blood samples of the Slavic ethnic group from different regions of the country. Further, Germany's actions previously unknown to the general public pose the same threat as US biological experiments and require detailed study. We don't get tired of denying, of course, there were no secret chemical biological laboratories for the development of biological weapons in Ukraine. This was refuted not only by Ukrainian and international scientists, but even by the Russians, who were not afraid to tell the truth in the conditions of the current ruling regime. The fact that Germany was involved in these information attacks, of course, can only be seen as some kind of revenge for the fact that Germany has taken a principled position in relation to Russian aggression against Ukraine. In this sense, Germany also supplies Ukraine with weapons and has taken part in imposing the necessary sanctions. Accordingly, Russia has made accusations that haven't been heard before. I will repeat what I said earlier. The use of the chemical weapons argument can be a part of Russia's justification for accusing it of an aggressive war against Ukraine, as well as possible preparations for Russia's of chemical weapons against Ukraine. Our American partners stated that this is a lie. Ukraine has never done and will never do any experiments with chemical and biological weapons. Thus, we expose the fake of the Russian propaganda once again. By the way, in their fakes they continue to try to interest the American establishment in this topic. In particular, the Russian Ministry of Defense is trying to interest the American opposition, making claims that they have correspondence with the US President Joe Biden's son. This correspondence seems to confirm his role in creating conditions for the operation of these chemical laboratories in Ukraine. Let me remind you once again, they are confused. They have Biden's son, next it's George Soros, the Pentagon, the State Department. They don't know whom to mention in the context of this fake program, which they have been promoting for almost two months in the information space around the world. Talking about biochemical laboratory. Another fake that we need to expose, which Russia itself has exposed already. These are their previous statements about the alleged total destruction of the Ukrainian Air Force. Leaving aside the discussion of who struck these warehouses in Belgorod, we have contradictions between the statements regarding to the Ukrainian Air Force. What they said literally on March the 5th this year, the well-known spokesman of the Russian propaganda, military man Konashenkov, said, practically all combat-ready aviation of the Kyiv regime is destroyed, he declared. Similarly, they contradict themselves about the destruction of all the Ukrainian Bayraktars. This is another military report of the Ministry of Defense. They stated that they shot down one more Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicle. And on March the 25th, they said that they had destroyed 35 of the 36 Bayraktars. 
Accordingly, if they report the destruction of one Ukrainian Bayraktar every day, they would have already surpassed the number of those Bayraktars which they have previously announced as destroyed by the Russian Air Force. That is, they contradict themselves. Accordingly, this is just another illustration of the fact that in their statements and actions, the Russian propagandists do not rely on facts, but rely on judging information in order to mislead both their local audience and the international community. And this again proves that they cannot be trusted. Whether this information comes from particular propagandists like Solovyov or Simonyan, or if it comes from the state agencies such as Rio Novosti or Russia Today, or directly from the Russian Ministry of Defense or Ministry of Foreign Affairs. They all repeat the same fake narratives. Thank you for your attention. The briefing is over. Keep your critical thinking, trust the Ukrainian military leadership, the Ukrainian armed forces and the Ukrainian political authorities, and all will be good. Glory to Ukraine.